Hi guys, welcome to a video, and in today's video I just wanted to do a review of Nightwood by Juna Barnes. I actually picked this up at Gaze the Word with no recommendation for it, I just found it, read the synopsis and liked the sound of it. The synopsis reads, Nightwood tells the stories of the love lives of a group of Americans and Europeans in Paris in the 1920s, an exotic nighttime underworld, eccentric, seedy, and beautiful, one of the earliest novels to explicitly portray homosexuality. I think the synopsis is slightly misleading. I was expecting the book to be a lot more gritty than it was, but obviously I didn't take into the account the time it was published, which was 1936 to be precise, and that is way before homosexuality was legalised, so it was never going to be that explicit. From my research, the book very much seems based on a real-life affair that Juna Barnes had with a sculptor called Thelma Wood. I don't know if I like this book. A lot of people have very spicy opinions on this book because honestly it's more poetry than plot driven narrative. If I had to try and draw a plot out of the book it is about a woman named Robin Vogt who just goes around ruining everybody's lives. First she gets married to this guy and she begrudgingly has a child with him and then she leaves him and then she meets this woman and then she leaves this woman for another woman and the book very much seems centred around the character of Robin and also the character of Dr O'Connor who in the book is actually a cross-dresser. Now the book is very relevant because of the time in which it was published. Whilst this copy Copy was certainly subject to being edited down and censorship, you can still tell that the book is about a lesbian relationship and there's still a character in it which plays with gender identity and for the time that was very bold and very out there. The narrative is a bit wayward, there's a lot of rambling dialogue which gets a bit tiresome, but I went into the book thinking it would be a plot driven narrative and it's just not. So if you are going to read this book I would advise you to read it more as poetry than as a linear narrative where people do stuff. The book is full of allegories, the book is full of conversations, the book is very much a piece of art, I'm just not sure I admire it personally. Be aware there's also some racist language in the book, I'm not actually sure of Junaban's origins but just as a heads up. The ending of the book has very heavily compares Robin to that of a beast or a dog and I'm not sure if the novel was just a revenge novel for the author having had her heart broken in real life. What I will grant the book is it's interesting and it's not poorly written, it's just sometimes frustrating to read. That being said, I did finish it, I was very interested in knowing what other people thought of the book and some people don't get along with it and some people really do. The lesbianism in the book isn't overt but it's most definitely there and it's very angsty but there's no way that any book published before the 1950s was really gonna have have any kind of positive representation of lesbianism and be supported by the publisher. It is a book that needs to be read twice, I don't know if I will read it twice, I might do, but I'm not in a hurry to. Okay guys, if you've read the book let me know what you think of it in the comments, don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!